All right. So for the first part of this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to take our dicyclopentadiene here, and it's not going to look much different than regular cyclopentadiene. But because this has already undergone a Diels-Alder reaction, we need to break it down through retro Diels-Alder synthesis. So to do this, we're going to hook it up to our heater, and we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on to about 70% power just to kind of get it boiling. And then we're going to drop it down to 30%. But as this begins to decompose back into the diacylpentadiene, the boiling point is going to start going down. And so we just need to supply less heat. So let's go ahead and get this going. Um, we'll start doing shot by, shot by shot videos of what happens as it moves along. And yeah, we'll break down our precursor into what we need it to be. All right. So here we are at roughly five minutes at 80% 80, 80 power. So what we're going to do now, we're starting to start, we're starting to see kind of this steaming here. These are the lighter cyclopentadiene products coming off with this dipental cyclodiene still kind of in there. Sorry, I can't get the camera up higher. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. There we go. So now we still kind of got the liquid in there, but what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the power down to 40%. What we don't want to do is like burn this material. So now that we've kind of got it, the boiling starting, we're just going to kind of maintain the heat here to ensure that it continues to decompose for another 25 minutes. All right, here we are at about the 15, 20 minute mark and definitely a lot of foaming going on inside. So we're getting really close to the boiling point. We're pretty much getting pretty much to the pure cyclopentadiene. So at 30 minutes, I'll pull this off, let you take a good look at. We'll cool it down and then we'll be ready to start the next part of the process, which is the actual Diels Alder reaction. All right, so we're done getting our mixture prepared. So now we're ready to let this material cool down. And once it cools down, we'll be ready to add the maleic anhydride. Pretty much doesn't look any different from the way it started, but we have actually decomposed the dicyclopentadiene back down into just the plain cyclopentadiene. So once it's cool, we'll be ready to add everything back.